What's up guys, Sloppy Weplo here. Well guys, I upgraded some new parts of my PC, as you guys know. Uh, new motherboard, new CPU, and like that. So I had a chance to go through my motherboard and see what kind of little accessories and software that this one has that the X99 did not at that present time. So this thing has Asus Aura. So it looks like a pretty cool thing. It does lighting effects. You could do um, change the lighting on your different components. And there's a sync function, which is right here, which will sync all the components. If you have compatible stuff like the uh, Asus Strix and stuff like that, GPU, you could change the lighting and stuff like that. But I don't have that. But the actual aspect of uh, the motherboard does light up and you could change the colors. Kind of a cool function. So... The problem is, is you go to try to, to load the drivers and you get issues. Uh, I've had, I spent hours last night trying to figure this out. So let's go into this so I can help you guys out. If you go to download the newest drivers, obviously go to the website here. If you go to download, you're going to click it and you're going to click a version. Okay, there's your two options is versions. Uh, my motherboard actually had a more beta version of than what's presently available so that's what i went with but i did also try the other one so you're going to download the file download it to your desktop and stuff like that and by the way let's go to overview i want to show you something else while we're here down here is the compatible motherboards and if you click view more there's obviously more that the motherboards support this aura type of feature so not every motherboard in the world has it go here and check before you start digging in with that said okay so you download the file and i have it right here but what happens is you go to try to load it and you will get this error popping up right here this will happen now what will happen is You'll go to Asus Setup to start it. As in the process starts going, you'll get this pops up right here. You'll click OK, and the file will still continue, and it'll say it is complete, and it'll ask you to reboot your PC. You reboot your PC. You go to start the program that I'm going to show you right here. Here is the program, and it starts up, and it will show nothing except this, Ed Strip. That's it. Showed nothing else to me. No matter what I did, it didn't show anything. So let me show you the fix that you need to do. So if you go here, this is the most current file on the download page. Like I said, I do have a beta, which is right here. Actually, sorry. This is the most current. This is the beta. So let's just go to the most current. If you right-click the file, go to Properties, there's one that says Unblocked. The file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect the computer. You need to check this and hit Apply. By doing that, okay, after you're done with that, unzip it, okay, unzip it, and run the Asus setup inside there. When you do that, you, that error that I just showed you guys will not appear anymore, and you will be able to install it and make it work. And you could actually control your stuff. As you see, the motherboard's still blacked out, but it does work. The functions are working. If you have other components that are compatible to Aura, you will be able to control them so this is a major problem because i tried all different versions and every one did not work so that is what you're going to have to do and you will get around this error that keeps popping up and what happens is, is if you reboot the pc when you have this error popping up you'll reboot it aura will work but it doesn't see anything it doesn't see anything it's weird so there is a glitch or something, or it might be with the Windows updates they've done, but that's the problem. Just check that box, apply it, unzip it, load it, and you're going to be good to go. It worked for me. I spent hours troubleshooting. I rewinded Aura to different versions, like all the way back in time to 2016. And unless you uncheck that box, you're going to have an issue. So I just wanted to do a quick video of how to fix that, my friends.